Our guest tonight is an unsigned class of 2023 quarterback who I hope finds a home and signs very soon because he's too good to be unsigned, in my opinion. From Westland Hialeah, starting quarterback Max Lawrence is with us. Max, I'm so happy to see you on here. Long overdue we had you on Locked on Canes. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you for having me. I'm so glad to have you, man. And you know, I've, I've seen you around campus at Miami before, ran into you at the spring game last weekend, and you're, yeah. you're such an outgoing young man. You've got such a positive attitude and a great personality. I, I can tell you've got those leadership traits to be a quarterback. Uh, and, you know, you've been making the rounds. I know you've been to some schools out of state, to some schools in the area. How's that recruiting process going for you? It's going good. Um I'm still waiting to make a decision, but I've been – I just went to uh, UCF, USF, and Florida, and I'll be at FIU on Saturday for the spring game, and I should have a decision pretty soon. That's cool, man. Are we talking like a matter of weeks or a matter of days? Uh, how soon can we expect I mean, it? really, really anywhere between now and probably a week and a half. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that, that's just and and do you still um do you still do you still feel undecided? Do you have maybe one or two favorites? I mean, I just feel I feel like I'm just gonna play it out. Let it let it um I'll know when the time is right, but really just waiting for the opportunity. Really. No, I, I know it's it's one of the biggest decisions you're going to make in your entire life. And listen, before we yeah. talk about Max Lawrence, the quarterback, I also got to mention, unless I looked at the wrong stats, I see you've got a, a 4.81 GPA, which is uh, it's a little higher than the one that I had coming out of high school, Max. So, I mean, so when you look at this, obviously you want to play football, you want to find the right football fit. But, you know, for a, a smart student like yourself, how much do academics come into play in your decision? I mean, academics play a big role, but really just I'm not really too worried about that because I'm I know I'm going to get it done in the classroom and I whatever I put my mind to, I'm going to get it done. So really just finding the right program right now is what I'm looking forward to. So you're coming off a successful uh, high school season at Westland Hialeah. Describe your game a little bit, Max. Uh, I think 15 touchdowns this past season and, and you were slinging it all over the field like what What can you know for whatever university you choose what can they expect from Max Lawrence the quarterback I mean really a uh, pure pocket passer I'm gonna get the ball out quick very accurate and I'm I'm gonna you know I work everyone physically and mentally really I, I watch a lot of film I think that's what separates me from most quarterbacks and I play in Miami Dade which is the best of the best so yeah Tell me a little bit about your journey through high school. Uh, are, are you are you a South Florida native, or are you from somewhere else? How did yeah. you end up at Westland? Yeah. Well, I grew up in Miami Beach. I went to Miami Beach Senior High my first three years with Coach Alex Terry, and um, it went good. I I I didn't play my freshman year. I played a little my sophomore year, and I, I grew late. So I really my first year starting was my junior year. I had 16 touchdowns, uh, 1,500 yards in in nine games or eight games. And really, my senior year, it was just – I just wanted to go all out. So, you know, me and my family decided just the best move would be to transfer. And I, a lot of schools contacted me, reached out to me, and, and really – Westland came towards the end, but it was the best decision I made. And, you know, the season was we went four and six, but or five and six. We started off five and one. And then not a lot of people know, but I got hurt. I sprained I sprained my throwing elbow. So I played I missed three games and I played the the big games the next three. That's good, man. How's the recovery yeah. gone from that? I, I know that it's that can good. obviously be difficult. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's been good. It's been, you know, four months. I just had a, you know, I, I had to let it heal first. And then I went to physical therapy for a month straight, you know, three, four times a week. And then I really started throwing like probably it's been just about two months and I've been throwing, lifting weights. So, 
yeah, I'm feeling back to, you know, how it was before. That's great. And, you know, people watching the video version of this episode, they, they can even tell just when you're sitting down that you're a really, really tall guy. Uh, how, how tall are you? What's your height and weight these days? I'm 6'3", 208. Yes, sir. Nice, nice. And so for you, when you're making this college decision, you, know, you mentioned a lot of schools that are in state. Uh, I think you've taken some trips out of state as well. But is staying in Florida closer to home, is that something you would prefer to do? Yes, definitely. I like, I mean, I'm close to home, the weather. Yeah. And um, yeah, I have, I have, you know, my, I have a high GPA and good ACT score. So I have academic scholarships and mostly all the schools. Uh, that is fantastic. That is fantastic to hear that. And, you know, I mentioned I did run into you a couple times at the University of Miami. So I know you've been around uh, just from a Miami standpoint. What stood out to you about the practices you got to watch facilities and any coaches you got to talk to? Yeah, the the first the first time I got there, it felt it felt different. It was a whole different vibe than how it was, you know, before. And um, I think the offense was really what stood out the most to everyone. It was, it was, you know, how it was supposed to look a few years ago. But it's, it's quick, and and it's, it's fun to watch. And the the facilities they just keep getting better, and I keep meeting new people, new coaches, and it is great, great energy. Now, you know, growing up watching football on TV, do you have a favorite college team? Do you have a favorite NFL team? Um, I would just watch, I like college football a lot. I like, you know, I like, um, I like all the, all the different teams. I like, I like SEC. I like ACC, a lot of Pac-12 and, uh, you know, the big 10 now since UCF is, is going to be in the big, Ten or the big 12. Yeah. So really, really, I like, I like the, the up-tempo offenses and I think it's pretty fun to watch. So That's I wouldn't say I have a favorite. Yeah, no, it, it, it's nice, and, and honestly, uh, you probably get hurt a little less if you don't have a favorite because, you know, so sometimes when certain teams don't do well, it's uh, it's difficult as yeah. a fan. Uh, so, yeah. uh, you know, something – and I, going to Westland Hialeah, you know, I, I got to – Max, I got to ask you to put in a good word uh, for your high school teammate. I know he's committed to Michigan State, so not trying to step on their toes, but I kind of am – uh, you know, Jamari Howard, I've seen him on campus at Miami as well. Four-star corner from Westland. Uh, are, are you guys close? And, and tell, tell him Dono wants him to come to Miami. So let's go. Yeah, uh, me, me and Jamari were pretty close. I mean, I didn't really know him. I played against him in youth football, but I didn't really know him until I got to Westland during the last summer. And um, he's just a hard worker. He's just like me. We, we work out all the time, you know. During the summer, we were working out. After practice, we'd work out two, three times sometimes with my coach. And um, he's just a good person overall. And he gets good grades, too. That's that's the difference between him and a lot of people in Florida is he, he works hard in the classroom. And, I mean, wherever he goes, the coach, he's going he's gonna to be a good player. He's going to be – I think he's the best player in the country for 2024. You know, you even know, you though he's a four star, he's yeah. he's yeah, he's up there. I, I like it. Now you, you mentioned uh pocket passer. Um what what sort of uh what sort of an offense do you think fits you best? Yeah, definitely, definitely like air raid style offense. I mean, that's really one of the main reasons I transferred to Westland High Leah, so I could learn it. And you know, I thank Coach Joe, Coach uh Daniels, Coach OJ, Coach Vaughn. They all gave me the opportunity, you know, to just bring me in and help me learn. And uh, I've learned from all of them just different things. And, and it's really helped me, like, become the quarterback I am today. Well, that's great. I want to wish you the best of luck. I know you got a big decision coming up. You're going to be consulting family and all of that. So, Max, I'm, I'm hoping whatever decision you make is the best decision for you. I'd love to see you in Coral Gables. Uh, that is my biased, uh, my biased wish. But yeah. wherever you end up, you've got a fan in me, and, and hopefully all of our listeners and viewers support you as well. Max Lawrence, thank you so much, man, and best of luck in this decision. Thank you. Thank you again for having me. Of course, so nice catching up here with Max. And guys, make sure you make Locked on Canes your first listen every day. We are part of the awesome Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day.